Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinger, and I'm playing some Xenosaga episode 3. Not gonna pronounce the title. Yes, I have glasses on. It's because I have a tiny bit of a headache, and these do tend to help. Because it's an eye strain thing sometimes, but... I... How bad on your side? Found anything? Probably not. Nothing yet. There are no signs of the Elsa or any ESs in the UMN region. There ain't even a log? None. How is that possible? Don't worry about it, Shelly. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. In some sort of accident, a log should exist. They may have been reduced to Planck scale along with the hypersphere. Don't say that! No way. Then they did. Uh, where have you gone, little master? And Master Guinan is away too. That is a really weird face in the little side portrait there. That's a really weird face. <laughs> so it looks like she got hit. Uh, Hi, Yuli. I assume from the tone of your voice that something's gone wrong. Yeah, and your daughter's involved. <laughs> the little master vanished along with the research target. We're searching for them now. What? You still don't know where they are? Unfortunately, no. I see. Committee member Mizrahi, I presume you did not contact us to check on the situation. Probably not. <laughs> yes, there's been a new development in the Federation government. Of course there has. I wanted to inform you at once. You sound serious. What is this new development? The Federation government is moving forward with plans for a full-scale invasion. That's gonna end well. What? Where? The birthplace of the Ormus organization. Planet- That's gonna end well. By the way, Mikdom is where the final dungeon of the game is. So... <laughs> the Federation fleet has already set course and is employing the newly completed Merkaba. That's gonna end well. The Merkaba? So Dmitry Yuryev is behind this? Yes. If something isn't done, the chaotic wars of the past may descend upon us again. Uh, pretty sure they already have. Or perhaps something even worse. I'm gonna go with that one. Are they planning to wipe out Ormus? What should we do? We'll wait and see, depending on the situation. The Federation military may become our enemy. Dun dun dun! Dmitry must have a reason for heading to Mictum. That man wouldn't move the entire fleet just to suppress them. So there's something there, huh? Mm-hmm. There was a record of an object in the remaining fragments of the Y data inside Momo. An object, eh, Euler? That object was taken by a faction of the immigrant fleet when they left Lost Jerusalem. An object? I mean, it's it's a little bigger than a Eternal object, circle. but... Zarathustra. Zarathustra? We are still investigating exactly what it is, but Dimitri has the Y data as well, and his is in a more complete form than ours. I can't remember if they actually explain why Dimitri has access to a more complete version of the Y data, seeing as the entirety of the Y data was inside Momo. So you think they'd have access to the entirety of the Y data because they got it from Momo. Unless Albedo's fuckery with her brain in 1 and 2 screwed up the Y data they got. I have a feeling his actions may be related to that object. I mean, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, Yuria really doesn't have anything to do with Zarathustra, but okay, Yuli. <gasps> oh. Oh. You have the ESs there and the emulators, so you may be able to stop Dimitri. Do we, though? I mean, will we? <laughs> you would receive full support from Representative Helmer in such a case. Helmer? Things are that bad? But we can't do anything if the Elsa is missing. Yep, because they need their ES craft. The Durandal has all of the emulators. Has all 12 of the emulators? I think? I don't- it doesn't actually have the Zohar, I think. I can't- honestly, I can't remember. It's been so long since I played the second game. I can't remember if the emulator- or if the actual Zohar is on the Durandal or not. I don't think it is. But all of the emulators are. Leave it to us. We'll find them no matter what. And then, if that old man is doing something stupid, we'll go out there and slap him upside the head. I love Mary. <laughs> yes, I'm sure little master would like to be a part of that. I mean, too. I like Mary and Shelley, but I especially like Mary. I'm sorry for always asking the impossible for you. I'll head there myself as soon as I can. Also, it is kind of weird that, if I remember correctly, Mary and Shelley, Mary and Shelley are twins, but if one of them has a distinct accent and the other one doesn't. <laughs> I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, 
She's probably dreaming of Udu. Bet you anything. Nope. Not dreaming of Udu. <gasps> Where am I? Don't worry about it. This is hopeless. Without a transplant of the actual base tissue, we can't save him. This is what actually happened. In the past, that's what she's dreaming about. Because remember, we transplanted the thing. We transplanted the organs into him, but... Please, transplant my organs. That should compensate for what's missing. Is that Feb? Oh, that's right. It's Lieutenant Virgil's surgery. Mm-hmm. No. Think what that would do to you. We can't lose a valuable realian to save the life of one soldier. It's fine. Our cells should have affinity for each other. I'll be fine. Please, help him. Wait, that's not Jin. Mm -hmm. You sound like your mind is made up. Fine, we'll try it. That's... Kevin! <laughs> yep. Yeah, in the actual... I can't remember if that's the only one she has. Or if she has other ones. But, um... Yeah, it's show it's showing that they're not actually changing the past here. Was I dreaming? I, I don't think they ever actually. Ex I think I brought this up in another episode, but I don't think they ever actually explain. Yes, I remember. Um, that boy saved him. I don't think they actually explain a hundred percent what's going on. Like they imply that it is sort of time travel, but it's not actual time travel. Jin and the others weren't there. But it's not. Like, they got put into an encephalon or something that gives them an image of the past. They never, they never 100% explain things in this game. And as much as I love this game, man, you have to put your suspension of disbelief just on max for some things that happen in this game. It's a bunny. Why am I only walking? Okay. Hi, bunny. Do you know what a geocrystal is? You can harvest one by refining rough geocrystal. I know how to do that. I eat. But I guess you don't have any use for it, huh? Uh, I'm sure this is fine. Why won't it let me run? Oh, hi, Momo! <laughs> oh, Shion, you're awake! If you're looking for the others, they should be in the gun room. Thanks, Momo. Uh... Oh, it's because I was using the directional buttons. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, I was playing... So I'm just off of playing my yearly Parasite Eve 1 and 2 uh, playthrough on Twitch. So I'm used to just moving around with the directional pad. Because <laughs> I don't think either game has the capability for using the directional sticks. At least the first game doesn't. Um... So I'm used. So I'm used to not being able to use the directional pa or not being able to use the analog stick. Gun room, huh? This is this mission filled 15 years ago. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I said it was in the gun room. It's locked. Great. There's bunnies everywhere. Where's the gun room? Cr cabin. Cabin. Diner. Gun room? No. This way. Go down to B1, yes. Are they in Cosmos' room? Because Cosmos' room is obviously in the basement. They sort of showed it. Oh, there we go. Cool. Found it. Hey, guys! The vessels of Anima are gone? <gasps> uh oh! What's wrong? Uh, there's a little bit of a problem. Just a scotch. Just a scotch of a problem. You'd better explain what's going on. Like I said, the vessels of Anima are missing. There's nothing wrong with the crafts themselves, but the power cores have just disappeared. A well, good thing you have a mech expert in the professor who can do something about that. How can that happen? What caused it? I have no idea. Perhaps it's a negative side effect caused by our time travel. It's not actual time travel, Alan. It's complicated. Yes, yes. Speaking of side effects, things may get even worse. What? Even more stuff's gonna go wrong? Well, we're not really supposed to be here in this world. 
That contradiction is slowly but surely building up latent heat energy. Kite? <laughs> if that we makes sense. keep going, it'll almost certainly end in destruction. I'm sure it's fine. Destruction of what? Everything. This universe. <laughs> Way to be dramatic, Professor. What? Well, that might be an exaggeration, but it will at least blow away this region of space. That's how dangerous this latent heat energy thing is. What do we do? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, so like here they're implying that it was an actual time travel into the past, but it's made pretty clear in other things other characters say that it's not like a complete time travel thing. Like they can't actually change any of the events that happen. Um, no matter what they do, and like Xion just had a dream of what actually happened in the past when, um, when Virgil got body parts from Feb. She said pretty much the same thing, except instead of saying it to Kevin, she said it to Jin. So, they- Is there anything we can do? They never just 100% confirm if it's actual time travel or not that I remember. Well... There is something. Also, I love how, for the most part, with, with one big exception, um, a little bit later on in the game, Ziggy's just along for the ride. He's here as Momo's bodyguard. <laughs> we may be able to return to our original time if we contain this latent heat energy with a field and interface with the space-time continuum. I don't know if that checks out, Professor. <laughs> no problem, then. Let's get started. Junior! Let me finish. <laughs> All I'm saying is that it's no problem, huh? Possible. We don't have anything capable of generating a field powerful enough to contain it. There's nothing we can do. Are you sure about that? Cosmos. Aw, poor she yawn. Will you ever wake up again? Will you ever say good morning to me again? Well, judging from the fact, again, like I brought up in another episode, she has a different outfit on the cover of this game than we've seen her in so far. <laughs> Chief, you're here again? Uh, are you surprised, Alan? When we get back to our original time, I'm sure we can find a way to fix Cosmos. So... Never gets to have that date with her. <laughs> Alan. Yes? Do you really think this is that mail ship? Mm -hmm. It's difficult to believe. But the data Momo's gathered all points to this as the mail ship 15 years ago. I don't understand. This is definitely mail ship from back then. I've met Feb, Lieutenant Virgil, and even my younger self. But I can't just accept it. And so you've easily. met younger Kevin! Like, says Virgil, says Feb, says her, doesn't sit, doesn't bring up Kevin that she's seen. If this is really Milsha back then, a terrible fate is going to befall this planet in just a few days. Yep. Can you believe that? Yep. Well, Jin was saying, if this is really the world of the past, then our actions now could have a dramatic effect on the future. Nope, they're not going to change a damn thing. And that's, I, I get, now that I've... In watching this game again, I think that's what... It's certainly true that we don't know what might happen to us if we interfere with the past. I think that's what Xion's dream is supposed to imply, because Feb's reaction talking to Jin was the exact same that it was in the actual past, is that they can't actually change anything. Which turns out to be true. They cannot change anything. And it this isn't really the past, they just... Uh, things that yeah, are not explained well. Doesn't that mean we might be able to change the past? No. Don't you wish you could change the past, Alan? Complicated question. <laughs> Actually. Well, yeah. Yes and I have no. All sorts of things in the past I'd like to change. I think most. But it's like do. if you change the past, then you're going to change who you are in the present, which might not be good. Might not be a good thing. Like you can't know. Everyone regrets something. I bet everyone wishes they could redo things. Mm -hmm. But it's not a good idea to interfere with this world without understanding the situation. Alan being the voice of reason, as always. 
That may be the logical way of thinking. But even so... Damn it! Everything is happening at once. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. Chief, you're probably tired. How about getting a little more rest? No, oh, Alan. You're right. I think I'll head to the city to rest. Head to the city! That's gonna end well. <laughs> what? Chief, we shouldn't go outside until we understand our current situation. I have to do something. I can't just sit around here. Besides, we'll never really figure out our situation unless we go outside. <laughs> I'm waiting for Xion to realize the massive thing that's gonna help her fix Cosmos. Chief, hey, wait a minute! Like, it's obvious to- it was obvious to me the first time I played this game how they're gonna fix Cosmos. I can't bear just standing around. You can interfere with this world! <laughs> You can go tell on me if you want. Do it. Chief. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just gonna go visit the city. Bullshit. <laughs> I'll be back in two or three hours, so tell the others not to worry. Bullshit. <laughs> According to the information we have, the city is in a battle zone with Federation descent troops. Why do you want to go there? Do you want to go see her mama? W wait a minute. <laughs> I'll go with you. That's okay. No, you're not going. No, it's not. See, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Um, see, this is the reason why I keep ragging on Shion and why I, even in episodes one and two, I was constantly saying that she's an idiot and that I don't like her. This game is what ruined Shion for me. She was okay in one and two. This game, Shion's actions in this game is what ruined her as a character for me. She may have the best design in this game, but she is literally the, one of the stupidest video game characters I've ever seen. And one of the most entitled and mean that I have ever seen that is still supposed to be our main character. Like, what? Cosmos isn't here. So I'm going to protect Poor him. Alan. See, she's constantly dismissing people, constantly saying that she's fine when she's obviously dying. Constantly going off on her own saying, I don't need you. You're not my real dad. And just whining. And like shit like this. Oh, it'll be fine. I'm just gonna go walk around the city. In the past. When, who the fuck knows what could happen? Oh, wait, no, but I'm gonna do it alone. It'll be fine. This is fine. You know, that's not something you do to your fucking friends. Like, not, not even thinking about how stupid of an idea it is because a bajillion things could go wrong here. Um, but there's the idiocy of her leaving like this and not telling the others because there's one thing about in um going and like there's one thing that's insisting on going sure stupid idea but whatever you insist on going to the city going to the city and not telling everybody that you're going in a situ in a serious situation like this when you could potentially be causing irreparable damage um by as the professor said, building up enough heat and latent heat energy to blow up the entire region of space? Chief? Xion is the worst. Literally the worst. And I am not even done yet. This is not even the stupidest thing she does in this game. Shh, hide. I mean, it's it's Made marginally okay by transport? some other things that we see Looks later, like but accident. still not, still not a good plan. Was it attacked by the Federation? Beats me. It's hard to tell from here. There's a lot of realians in it. <gasps> Wait, someone's coming out. Damn, this isn't good. Looks like a slaughterhouse in here. Oh, Supervisor Uzuki. Over here. It's her daddy! What? Dad? Huh? Dad? He's... Yes, it's definitely him. Suo Uzuki, my father. It's our papa! How are the subjects inside? No good. They're all destroyed with their maintenance beds. We won't be able to use them. Federation military isn't taking any chances. Huh? 
thanks to them, the project is going to be delayed even further. What should we do? Just retrieve the vital data, then dispose of the rest. Leave the Realians. We'll have the disposal team incinerate them later. Let's go. Rude. <laughs> Leaves the poor bodies. <sighs> poor people. Oh, this is awful. What was the point of this? Uh, reasons. <laughs> Let's see. Model number DZ20003300. Looks like they're combat. Reality. Yeah, so the same k k kind that's going to go nuts. So, what are you doing, Chief? This. Hey, that's an ID. Lend me your connection gear. Sure, but why? <laughs> Alan's so enabling without even realizing I'm it. I'm gonna modify this ID and make us our own. What? It looks like she was a UTIC scientist. A Realian coordinator, actually. Well, that's good, because she knows a lot about Realians, because in the first game, she had to go help out with the Realians a bunch in the very beginning. There's spare uniforms inside, too. See, it's shit like this. Her acting on her own in this way and need not even thinking about the consequences for the rest of the team. Not once did the consequences of the rest of her what? of the team come to mind Chief, for her. What are you doing? There's something I want to check. You can go on back. I can't leave you alone. Where are you planning on going? My father probably headed for Labyrinthos. I suspected he was connected with you, Tick. I have to find out what the connection was. No. If no, you don't. With me, then hurry up and change. No, you don't. Xion does not need to do this. But she's going to because she is a moron. She is a moron and this game ruined her character for me. It's, again, it's not the fact that she wants to go figure things out and wants to learn things. I get that. It's the way she does it. I find incredibly un, um, like, not, what's the word? Incredibly not. Things don't look very good. Good? Just not good. Incredibly not good. No surprise there. The Federation front line is only 20 kilometers away. Although... The fact that they haven't declared martial law yet must mean they're not too concerned. Why doesn't the Federation just attack? They can't. The Realian troops that compose the Federation's main force can't be Because used. of the Song of Nephilim would cause them to go nuts. Why not? Have you forgotten? The UTIC organization has the ability to make Realians lose control. Because they have the Song of Nephilim. Think they've been able to expand to the whole star cluster. The Song of Nephilim? Mm -hmm. Yes. On top of that, there are a lot of civilians here, as well as the Zohar. They can't just hit the city with interstellar weapons. Which is how the game's explaining you being able to run around here before things go tits up. However... Hey there, what flavor do you want? They have ice cream. I don't want any. Goodbye. <laughs> no ice cream for me! I do like this outfit, though. I wish you could keep it as, like, a combat item, like you can with some of the other ones, like Xion's vector uniform, or the frickin' shirt, or bathing suits. But, whatever. Okay, how... I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go for... Oh, I can bolt the vending machines! <laughs> blow them up! Blow them up, blow up everything. What else does it do? 100 Gs needed to operate the binoculars. The binoculars? Uh. Okay. But why? <gasps> that never dawned on me before. So, one, there's Shion, but this is the same park as was in um, the Encephalon in Xenosaga 1 when they have to dive into Cosmos' brain. This exact thing, this exact park was there. And instead of that being Shion, it was, uh, Nephilim. There was a zoom button. I can't remember what it was, though. Whoops, wrong button. Right analog stick, okay. Hey, 
like it's me. Hi, Shion. Doesn't have anything to say. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's that's a little cool Easter egg. Because, yeah, it's the exact same park area as a uh, section of Xenosaga 1. Which makes sense because Xenosaga 1 and Xenosaga 2 jump back to Milsha through various means, whether it's the Encephalon or when they actually go to Milsha of the present in the second game, but it does not look like this. The entire planet is mostly submerged into an ocean. You can just see, like, the tops of the tallest buildings and shit. Ooh, stuff. Don't mind me, I'm a scientist. I'm just blowing shit up because science. Going to Labyrinthos. This is gonna end well. <laughs> this can only end well, and not terribly. Oh, what world is that lady wearing? Oh, for a second that looks skin colored. <laughs> is, she, is she wearing some owl bed shit? Step, 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 step. Cool. Two labyrinthos. Don't worry, guys. I'm totally supposed to be here. Totally. This is fine. <laughs> What's up, bruh? ID, please. What's up, bruh? Wait a minute. You're with the 34th Special Transport Team? Maybe. <laughs> there was a report that your team was attacked and destroyed. Um, yeah. We got lucky and passed out. So we escape danger. <laughs> oh, Alan. <laughs> Glad to hear Alan would be the worst so, spy. What happened to the cargo? It got bloated up. The cargo? The Realians. Oh. They were all destroyed. I hope that doesn't delay the project. It will. A connection experiment using the test subject is going to begin soon. You should hurry. Supervisor Uzuki isn't going to be happy if you keep Professor Mizrahi waiting. Shh, it's fine. Professor Mizrahi's on the fourth floor. You think they would have good enough, like, security measures to call them out on the shit immediately? Like, scanning their IDs and having methods of being able to see that it's a fake ID? Use of chemicals that may cause an explosion of repeat in this facility. Oh, I guess I shouldn't use traps. Yeah. I don't think that- I don't remember if that goes for the entirety. Like if you can blow things up with your um Say, connection chief, gear, or isn't this the if you just can't use traps. Dove into Cosmos's Encephalon? I don't know why Alan's pointing that out now. Now that I think about it, because you never see this part of the hospital. You only see one very particular part of the hospital that we don't see till later. And he didn't point that out earlier when we saw some other things that we've already seen in the fir from the first game. But but it looks too heavily guarded for a hospital. It's a little column A, a little column B. No. What? This is no hospital. When I was a child, I thought it was a hospital. But this is a holding ward for the test subjects that are necessary for their project. Including her mama. Stop. Ahead is Labyrinthos. You can't pass without a dedicated ID. I knew it. This facility is part of Labyrinthos. What? Why would she say that out loud? <laughs> She's so suspicious. Uh, um, here's my ID. She's so suspicious. <laughs> no, your ID doesn't permit you to pass through don't here. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Return don't to your work. be suspicious. The fact that they tried to get through there was suspicious. Everything they do is suspicious. So, we have a lovely save point here. I've reached a half an hour, even though it's just cutscenes. So I'm gonna end it. My name is Miss Carly Tanager and I have been playing some Xenosaga episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.